and welcome to NYSC Half Hour. I am Coco Hensher, wishing you a happy new year. Today we bring you highlights of the grand reception in honor of the Director General, Major General Shwahibu Ibrahim, on his elevation to the rank of Major General. We congratulate you, sir. Come with us as we take you through the celebrations. <music> On the 6th of January 2022, dignitaries from different walks of life, NYSC top management and core members nationwide gathered at the NYSC headquarters, Yakubu Gowon House, Meitama Abuja, to honor Major General Shwahibu Ibrahim on his elevation. Mrs. Christy Uba, director of ICT NYSC, gives her opening remarks to kickstart the ceremony. It is with great honor and privilege that I welcome you all on behalf of the entire workforce of the National Youth Service Corps on this epoch-making event as we celebrate our indefatigable, versatile, hardworking, compassionate, sympathetic, and emphatic Director General, Major General Shaibu Ibrahim, on this deserving elevation in his noble military career. It has become transparently apparent that our pragmatic general is a very com competent leader and a father who has not only positioned the NYSC in an enviable pedestrian within a short period, but has worked relentlessly to make us one indivisible family of the staff from different geopolitical extractions and different orientations. This feat is practically evident in what is happening here today as we, as we all are from all the states of the Federation to celebrate and wish him good tidings as we also pray God to continue to give him wisdom and grace to excel in all his other endeavors. The NYSC Cultural Troupe added flair to the grand ceremony with their fantastic performance of their unity dance. A documentary showcasing the giant strides of the Major General Shwahibu Ibrahim was presented at the event. Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim hails from Nasarawa local government area of Nasarawa State. He attended the University of Jos, where he obtained bachelor's and master's degrees in history in 1989 and 1992 respectively, before proceeding to bag a postgraduate diploma in education from Taisholarin University of Education in Djibouti. Driven by his insatiable thirst for knowledge, he went to obtain a PhD in history from the University of Abuja in 2007. He is an academic who has, by dint of hard work, risen to the rank of associate professor at the Nigerian Defense Academy. His military career began with his commissioning into the Nigerian Army Education Corps as a second lieutenant in 1993. The senior officer has held several appointments in military formations across the country, including the Headquarters, Nigerian Army Education Corps, Nigerian Army School of Education, Institute of Army Education, 
Nigerian Defense Academy and the National Defense College. In line with the armed forces tradition of enhancing professionalism through training and retraining of officers, he attended various courses amongst which were Nigeria Army Education Corps NAEC NAEC Young Officers Course, Infantry Young Officers Course, Training Development Advisors Course and NAEC NAEC Officers Executive Management Course. Among other positions held in the course of his career was Military Assistant to the Director General of NYSC 1996-1999 Commandant, Command Secondary School, Suleja, 2012-2014 Head of Department, History and War Studies, Nigerian Defense Academy, 2015-2018 and Pioneer Registrar, Nigerian Army University, BU, 2018-2019 on the 10th of May 2019, a new chapter was opened in the history of the National Youth Service Corps with the assumption of duty by Major General S. Ibrahim, then a Brigadier General, as the 18th Director General of the scheme. The Director General immediately unveiled his policy direction and called on five cardinal points. 1. Sustain effective utilization of the potentials of core members for optimal benefit. 2. Pursue a technology driven organization to deepen the effective service delivery. 3. Improvement of the welfare and security of core members and staff. 4. Strengthen existing collaboration with stakeholders. And 5. The regulatory NYC ventures and skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development program in line with the NYC Act for greater impact. Thereafter, the Director General settled down for the day to day running of the scheme with particular focus on his blueprint. Known for his foresightedness, proactive nature, and passion for excellence, he has been providing the needed leadership for the rest of the management and members of staff as the entire team work towards actualizing his vision for the scheme. 32 months into dynamic and result-oriented administration, Major General S. Ibrahim has numerous achievements on his score, including but not limited to the following. Elevation of the welfare of core members and NYSE staff to an all-time high. Development of the capacity of staff for enhanced productivity. Advocacy engagement with critical stakeholders, which amongst other impacts, resulted in completion of new orientation camps as well as renovation and upgrade by several state governments. His advocacy efforts have resulted in the approval of the execution of the federal government ecological projects in NYSC orientation camps in Cross River, FCT, Kebi, Nasarawa and Taraba states. Sensitization of the public on the NYSC Act in 2019 and 2021. Aggressive measures that have enhanced the credibility of the mobilization process including prosecution of offenders as well as direct interface with foreign core producing institutions and regulatory agencies with operational links with NYSC, reinvigoration of the skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development program SAED, successful staging of the 2021 SAED festival. Please, a round of applause to all our core winners. Revamping of the NYSC ventures and registration of some of the businesses with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Aggressive revenue generation drive through the NYSC ventures and 
the NYSC integrated online system which saw the scheme remitting over 1 billion naira to the federal government between 2020 and 2021. This is the first time NYSC is achieving such feat. Construction of NYSC printing press in Kaduna, Kaduna State. Inscription of date of birth on the certificate of national service to check manipulation by ineligible persons seeking mobilization for national service. Successful commencement of the enrollment of core members for the national health insurance scheme in line with presidential directive. Increment in the federal allowances of core members. Successful conduct of orientation courses. Successful takeoff of newly established NYSC area offices. Reactivation of ceremonial passing out of core members. Successful conduct of the 2020 and 2021 NYSC sports and cultural festivals. Resuscitation of weekly NYSC television and radio programs. The NYSC Half Hour on NTA International Channel 251 on DSTV and the Armed Forces Radio Abuja. Near completion of processes for the establishment of the NYSC radio including procurement of the necessary equipment. Establishment of the movie production platform, the NYSC Wood, with the first main movie titled A Call to Service, premiered on 4th December 2021 in Abuja. Every graduate under the age of 30 must do a one-year service for his country. Service does not kill. It's just a national duty. The scheme has also produced short films on election, promotion of blood donation, as well as sensitization against open defecation. Establishment of the NYSC National Cultural Troop. Establishment of the NYSC Museum. Mobilization of core members for contribution to the efforts at containing the COVID-19 pandemic. Successful conduct of the combined 2018-2019 President's NYSC Honors Award Ceremony. Publication of nine books on the contribution of NYSC to national unity and development. Ongoing construction of a state-of-the-art ICT center at the NYSC headquarters complex in Abuja, in pursuit of his policy of pursuing a technology-driven organization. Initiation of annual launch of Community Development Service CDS activities and institution of the Director General's CDS Awards. Introduction of nationwide live broadcast to core members through the video conferencing platform. Reinvigoration of the NYSC Health Initiative for Rural Dwellers through mobilization of logistics and sustaining medical outreaches on quarterly basis in all states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. Relaunch of the NYSC National Environmental Sanitation Exercise. Sustained advocacy for the establishment of the NYSC Trust Fund, including the hosting of a symposium on the imperative of the fund in October 2021. Participation of core members in the successful conduct of off-season elections including the Bielsa, Kogi, Edo, Ondo and Anambra state governorship elections. Participation of core members in the successful implementation of NPower and national school feeding program. Sustained follow-ups resulting in the employment and scholarship for siblings of the Bauchi 11 who lost their lives during post-election violence of 2011. Federal employment for a sibling of core member Precious Oolabi, who was hit by stray bullet during a religious crisis, and development of a five-year strategic plan for NYSC in line with his commitment to ensuring that the scheme stays in tune with its core mandate and the need to flow with the current trend in global best practices. The sterling performances of the Director General both in his military assignments and as NYSC chief executive, have continued to earn numerous commendations and laurels from different quarters. Among the awards received in recognition of his contributions to national development are Chief of Army Staff Award as the overall best participant for 2013 Nigerian Army Education Corps Executive Management Course, Chief of Army Staff Commendation Letter, Fellow Nigerian Army Resource Center 2021 
Blueprint Newspaper Public Service Award 2021 Sun Newspaper Personality Award Public Service 2020 and Commendation Letter by the Servicom National Office on Commitment to Improved Customer-Focused Service Delivery in the NYSC, December 2021. His hard work, dedication, and loyalty have earned him steady promotions in the Nigerian Army from a second lieutenant in 1993, culminating in his well-celebrated elevation to the rank of Major General. A fellow of the Historical Society of Nigeria, he has been decorated with military medals, including Forces Service Star, Meritorious Service Star, and Distinguished Service Star. He is widely traveled and happily married with children. A round of applause for our DJ, please. Alhaji Usmail Abubakar, Permanent Secretary representing the Minister for Youth and Sports, Honorable Sunday Dare, Deputy Chairman from the House of Representative Committee on Youth Development, Honorable Mohammed Abdul Mumini Shatima of Nasarawa State, and the Deputy Governor of Nasarawa State, represented by his wife, Mrs. Sheila Tosan Akabe, delivered their goodwill messages to the DG. We thank God for guiding him to this stage of his career. This, no doubt, was achieved through hard work, dedication, and commitment. He has been a hard-working officer. As a military officer, they found, it, they found him worthy, and therefore recommended his promotion to the position of Major General. As a public servant, has been law abiding, has been operating in accordance with laid down rules and regulations. We have seen his input, and by the special grace of God, he will rise higher. I want to mention two or three key things that we have seen during his own time. Number one, his contributions in the area of education where from the ranges of the primary school, secondary school, tertiary school, where the Cobras are giving a laudable contribution to the nation building. Second, the area of health. The contribution of the Cobras in various hospitals and outreach is enough to applaud him. And then the fourth one, or the third one, in the areas of the small-scale business transformations that is all to teach members in the camp. We appreciate that for good, for good work he is doing. I've always known him as a dogged person, a person who is hardworking and straight to the point. I want to thank God for taking him to greater heights and elevating him, and I pray that God who had elevated him as a major general will grant him that wisdom and work with him to achieve more. The Emma of Kefi, Alhaji Dr. Sheu Chindu Yamusa III, gave his royal blessings at the ceremony. He has brought developmental initiatives that took the scheme to a greater height. Nobody in this country will not give him applause because of his performance in NYC. He has initiated so many things. He has reached a point in the army where every army wants to reach. All the Nigerian armies want to get to general. Today, you are one. You have proved to us that you are a true ambassador of national state. Until you come home, you will know that you have fathers and you have brothers. May God bless us. May God give us the opportunity to go back to our virus destination. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Director of Human Resource, NYSC, Hajia Habiba Bapa, handled the cutting of the cake at the ceremony. Please join yeah, me please. to say congratulations as Co they cut the cake. Congratulations. Congratulations. A round of applause for our celebrant, please. This a champion 
an administrator by excellence. Director of Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development, NYSC, Hilary Nasamu, coordinated the toast at the Grand Reception. The Executive Governor of Nasara State, Engineer Abdullahi Sule, gave his remarks during the event. Let me thank you, like the Emir of Kefi has said, for being a true ambassador. How else can you be such a proud governor sitting and sandwich by two true ambassadors who have defined their various areas of endeavors? Every state you go, every governor will eloquently speak highly of the way you have redefined the youth core in his own state. No wonder you have now been promoted to Major General. I'm inshallah very soon you will be promoted to General before you retire. So you came, you saw you have redefined. Sitting here and listening to all the nice things that they have been said, which most of them you created. The rebirth of the NYSC that everyone says you have done is something that some of us who graduated a little much earlier in the 80s were always looking forward to ensuring that we serve. But at one point, people began to forget about the NYSC. It was no longer looking as exciting as, as anything else. But you came in and said, no, that's what leaders are meant for. You come in and started thinking outside the box and started creating so many things. Today, youth call members are proud to be called youth call members. They don't hide it any longer. So I want to thank you for that because that's what leaders do. They think outside the box. They come in, redefine institutions. And when they leave, they leave a landmark. I have no doubt in my mind that when you leave this service, you are leaving it with a landmark that people are coming to do. So once more, congratulations, my brother. I thank you sincerely for inviting me to witness this. This is an eye-opener for me. And I think this is a mentorship for our people from Nasarawa State to see what this is all about. And I'm happy that all our people from Nasrallah State appreciate you. So thank you very much and God bless you. The DG gave his note of appreciation, which marked the close of the grand ceremony. First and foremost, I want to thank the Almighty Allah for this privilege. It's indeed a privilege. And I also want to thank Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, for finding me worthy to be appointed DG NYC to showcase my potentials to have attracted you to honor me today. I thank the Minister of Defense and the Chief of Army Staff also for finding me worthy to be promoted to the rank of Major General in the Nigerian Army. What else can we say? My principle in life, and I say it wherever I go, is to touch your fellow human being. And if you cannot touch your fellow human being, you are not fit to live. And I say that is the principle I live for, and that is the principle I will die for. Because as we touch one another, they pray for me. It is indeed an historical epoch in my life for having gone through the almost 28 years of the military service and have never missed a promotion. My promotion will come as at when due. And all this as a result of this principle of hard work and commitment. So I want to thank you all for having fun time to come. My distinguished core members, they are all digital as you refer to them, patriotic and ever ready to serve their country. I want to thank the staff of the NYC for putting all their energies for making this thing a reality. I thank you and I wish you all journey messages to your various destinations. On the news today,
NYSC is ready for radio broadcast, Director General, NBC. The Director General, National Broadcasting Commission, Alhaji Balarebe Shehu Ilela, has expressed deep satisfaction with the adequate provisions made by the NYSC towards the commencement of radio transmission as soon as broadcast license is approved for the scheme. The NBC boss commended the NYSC management for procuring standard radio equipment and building a digital studio preparatory to preliminary inspection of the facilities, which according to him confirms the scheme's commitment to publicizing its activities through the mainstream broadcast media. First Lady facilitates employment of physically challenged ex core members. The First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Aisha Mohamedou Buhari, has facilitated the employment of two physically challenged ex core members, Onoberi Efe Lulu and Nureddin Tahir, in the Federal Civil Service. This gesture came as a result of the NYSC Director General, Major General Shohibu Ibrahim's persistent advocacy for stakeholder support, especially in the area of core welfare. The duo were handed their employment letters from the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund by the Director General in his office. Ibrahim expressed gratitude to the First Lady for her sustained interest in the success of NYSC and the welfare of core members. He remarked that her latest gesture would motivate the beneficiaries to render more dedicated service to the country as well as send a message to other physically challenged youths that the nation cared for them and would give them opportunities to realize their potentials. Thank you for investing your time with us on today's episode of NYSC Half Hour. We always love to hear from you. Please write to us on the online handles displayed on our screens right now, and we will write back. Remember, the safety of core members in our communities is the responsibility of you and I. Until I see you next time, I am Coco Henshaw.